Good afternoon and welcome to our coverage of the descent and landing of the IM-1 mission. I'm Josh Marshall, Communications Director of Intuitive Machines. And I'm Gary Jordan with NASA Communications. This mission is one of the first under a task order with NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Initiative. Under Artemis, we're returning to the moon to conduct groundbreaking scientific discoveries and technological advancements. And this mission with Intuitive Machines is helping us to get there. We'll show the Viz periodically throughout our coverage up to about 12 minutes prior to landing. In these final moments before landing, the most reliable spacecraft data will be relayed through the Nova Control audio loops. And Gary, since choosing to orbit the moon one more time, flight controllers have been working to resolve a challenge with the lander's laser range finders assigned to the terrain relative navigation and hazard relative navigation cameras. Those provide landing solutions to Odysseus. The lasers are intended to determine altitude and horizontal velocity, but the ones on the lander right now are not working. These are essential measurements required to land on the moon. And while Nova these laser rangefinders are not operable. NASA's navigation Doppler LiDAR sensors are. So during the last two-hour orbit, flight controllers have been loading software patches and resetting the lander's guidance, navigation, and control system to use two laser beams from NASA's navigation Doppler LiDAR as primary navigation sensors to land Odysseus. Main stage. There we heard main stage ignition. That's coming from our prop console, Rob Good Morgan. Control. Fido, I'm showing 500 kilometers to target, but my display is a little bit stale. It's part of the reason we're showing this animation, Josh. Of course, this is not telemetry driven. We're just showing you exactly what's happening. When, as we hear the calls, this information is relayed through the audio loops. 400 seconds to go and breaking one. Good control. Fido, I see TRN pause processing in flight. Three minutes to go, breaking one. Three minutes call. Depause terrain relative navigation measurements. Confirm that looks like a pitch over gimbal. Let's do it. Sounds like we have some data that confirms pitch over. This starts the HDA process. That's hazard detection avoidance throughout this show. You've heard Gary and I talking about the problem that was attempted to be solved in lunar orbit, making the decision to not only postpone this show. NDL indicates altitude of 1,000 meters. Generally. Less than one minute remaining to touchdown. Less than one minute remaining for touchdown. Yes, we're willing to blow down. And we're tracking here in the broadcast booth. The clock has reached the expected. May take a minute for comms to reestablish. Stand by. There it is, mission director beating us to it. We've reached the expected time of landing, but now is the process of waiting for comms, and we are in standby mode, as you heard it from the mission director, Dr. Tim Crane. QMD. Yeah, I'm looking at our uh, phase plane there for the, the last part of the flight. It looks like we had um, excellent pitch and yaw control throughout, but I did see a little bit of a roll excursion. Could it be that we landed off, uh, off angle and roll in the final phase? So I do see we had up to an eight degree excursion. Um, we're about to begin the, the roll maneuver, which is about terminal the, phase. The terminal phase, which is a, a large roll maneuver to get to to landing attitude. That's the latest last data point I have. Um, but up until that point we were we were really solid. Right, so terminal phase begins at thirty meters. Um, or post HDA. Post HDA. Post HDA. 400 meters. Very good. Science of life. We have a return signal we're tracking. All stations. This is uh, mission director on IM1. We're evaluating uh, how we can refine that signal and uh, dial in the pointing for our dishes. What we can confirm, without a doubt, is our equipment is on the surface of the moon, and we are transmitting. So. Congratulations, IM team. We'll see how much more we can get from that. An excellent call from our mission director, Empty Dr. Prime Tim Crane. On, uh, IM1. 
and over Go to our Prime. CEO, Steve Altman. Yeah, if I could just pass on a few words to the entire team in uh, Intuitive Machines at Superbab and here in the here in the uh, Mission Control. Uh, what an outstanding effort! I know this was a nail biter, but we are on the si on the surface and we are transmitting. And uh, welcome to the moon, Houston. Odysseus has found his new home. An excellent call, and this is our team of intuitive machines, mechanics, and their families, their friends, everyone who has Scratch sacrificed so much to make it this to, uh, far. Stations.